the budget 2024 has now been proposed. And I know lah, you all just look at the handouts the government give. But like what a wise cat once said, give a cat a fish and you'll feed him for a day. Teach a cat to fish and you'll feed him for a lifetime. This is why uh, the government uh, should give hangouts every day for a lifetime uh, so we'll So, so, uh, so, I think giving hangouts every day is impossible. So this year, there are many new initiatives being proposed. $4,000 top up in skills future credits, CPF top up for ITE grads, older workers will get some bonus, but low wage workers will benefit from changes in the workfare income supplement scheme. Interestingly, uh, it's also announced that Singapore will be introducing a temporary financial support scheme for the involuntarily unemployed, a result of the tireless decade-long lobbying by Labour MP Patrick Tay. 10 years of lobbying eh, don't play play ah. The first S of support for the unemployed is a call I first made more than 10 years ago here in this house in 2014. And I checked up Hansats and the late Dr Goh King Sui in March 1970, also in this house, spoke about and analysed the, the unemployment insurance and also consulted the International Labour Organization before the government made its stance and stated its approach. I'm heartened that after a decade of lobbying, more MPs have joined me in this call, including our opposition MPs, and that it has been adopted by the government through Forward Singapore last October and announced by DPM Lawrence in his budget speech this year. And this battery take continues to fight for the scheme to cover more individuals. As the parameters of this scheme are being deliberated, I urge the government to extend coverage to as many workers as possible, including the broad middle of affected workers and not just those in the lower income bracket. Other Labour MPs are still trying to fight for more too. Because they're Singaporeans, ma, they also can't sue. Ah, like ask, ah, 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 ah. They know who I really am. Ah. Hey, siang, ah, so big, ah, remove that ah. Of course, ah, the Labour movement tried to make it work by achieving a win-win situation for both workers and companies. Like what Desmond Tan, the Pasaris Pongo GRC MP and Deputy Secretary General of NTUC said, NTUC believes in achieving win-win outcomes by supporting businesses to grow the pie so that workers can benefit by sharing the gains. Desmond Chu, the Assistant Secretary General of NTUC and Tampanese GRC MP, wants to lower the skills future credit eligibility age. Cause you know, at this moment, you can only get the skills future credit if you are 25 and above. Younger people also want to upskill ma. I hope that the government can consider lowering the skills future credit eligibility age down from the current 25 years old to an empower more younger people to upskill and reskill. In the latest budget, it's announced that the local qualifying salary will be increased from July this year. Companies in Singapore have to pay workers the minimum of this salary in order to get quota for foreign workers. Good right, can be better of course. Labour MP Fatmi Ariman wants even more support for lower wage workers. Cause you know, rising cost of living ma. By aligning the LQS with the rising cost of living, authorities aim to ensure that employees receive salaries that are commensurate with economic demands of the time. So, what does this mean for us eh? Days of rising, but more help is coming for all workers now. Eh? So don't just take the fish ah. Learn how to fish well. Mm.